You right, guys? Been a little while since I've done a video for you in my car, so and I thought I'd give you a proper, decent uh, video of my pioneers in my car. Now I've made a new box for them. Okay, you know the black box with the pioneer logo on the, on the front. It was a good box, but um, it was a bit too small for the pioneers and also the um, the ports. Whatever well, they were tuned to 30 hz they're quite small, so there's a lot of port noise going on. <laughs> So what I've done is I've built a new box and it's got a big old slot port going in the side, really massive slot port. It's used to about 27 hertz, but that's before uh, woofer displacement and all that shit. So I'll just show you the box quickly and then I'll turn it up and I'll show you something funny about it. Right, it's still in a very primary stage at the moment. Obviously, I've just uh, built it, so I haven't actually covered it or anything like that yet. Um, basically, what I've done, this top piece here is not glued or masticed down. What I've got is I've got an airtight seal because all these um, sides are identical lengths and it makes an airtight seal when you screw it down. Now I've got removable tops so I can basically have a top piece that's got two 12 inch cutouts in it. I've got one top piece that's got my 18 inch cutout in it and I've tried my 18 inch in this box. I've also, I can also make one that's got a 4.8 cutout, I've got two 10s, so basically I can use this box and that port, you know, this, but just have different top pieces on it for different subs depending on how I want it. So obviously I've got the two pioneers in here at the moment, absolute beasts. Now, because this box is not glued or screwed down, I have a slight flex issue going on. Now, I'll just show you what I mean, okay, because this is quite bad. Oh, Fucking look at the box flex. Real If I sorted out the box, this would be a whole lot baser than it is now because I'm losing a, I'm losing a lot of SPL from that. That low note, I'm just losing because of the box flex. <laughs> I've decided I now need bracing in the box, okay? So you saw how much that front panel was moving back and forth. I need a lot of bracing in there. What I'm also gonna do is I'm also gonna add a double screws across the whole box because I'm not having any movement like that. I mean, I've masticed it, but that is fucking crazy. So it's bracing, two lots of, uh, double the amount of screws I've got in there at the moment. The top piece is gonna have a load of screws and I might put some felt down around the edge so that it makes a, it makes even tighter seal. But fuck me, I've not experienced that before from subs. <laughs> so um, that is my issue at the moment. The port is quite large, it's tuned good, it sounds good when it hits, but that flex is ridiculous. So I need to sort that out as soon as possible. Let's try a little bit of bass I love you because that has got some subsonics in it. So I wanna see if the uh, box moves on the subsonics. Let's go all the way down here. Good old bit of bass I love you. No one plays this tune anymore because it's, you know, everyone plays, it's outdated, but when you've got a good box set up and shit, it really does hit well and, you know. Bass knob is under the chair. See that?
Wow, fucking hell. That's some Sonic right there. That's really bad flex. Right, now I guess you guys probably want to see what amp I've got going on here. Now you, you, you've you seen my amp from my videos, it's always a bit of a fucking mess in here. I've had some jokes going on here lately. And this is the uh, loudest.com, whoa! Hang on a minute, <laughs> what's all that? That is a um, fucking sawdust right there. Is that because the back of the box is flexing as well? Fuck my life. Yeah, that is covered in sawdust, but oh well, that is the loudest.com amplifier. Let me just go on the other side and put the other bit of the seat down so you can see it in its full entirety because it is a well big amp and it only just fits in my car. Uh, come on, super fucking seat. Calm down, you can. Come on. Oh, that's it. Right, here we go. So, yeah, there, as you can see, it takes up pretty much the whole of the width of my back seat. If it was any longer, either side, it wouldn't really fit. Um, power wire wise, I have got some cheeky 4 gauge and this is really thick 4 gauge I bought another set of 4 gauge wire and it's nowhere near as thick as this this is Mutant Mutant, now I didn't think Mutant were all that great quality but their wire is fucking amazing this 4 gauge is so thick I bought some other 4 gauge which I can try and find for you guys here we go, right that's the one so this is apparently 4 gauge power wire Yeah. Um, it doesn't look as thick as this other one to start with, plus when you look inside Look how much fucking rubber they use. It's hardly any metal there whatsoever. Now, I don't know what brand this was um, I've got a feeling it was Vibe or something, you know, something fairly decent When you look at this This wire is thicker to start with, just in general, yeah? It's a lot thicker and the plastic on this stuff it's really, really thin, just around it outside. Whereas this is absolute shit stuff. Because really, this amplifier needs zero gauge. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm gonna run two sets of four gauge wire down either side of the car for it, and obviously two sets of a, a ground cable. And um, that basically equals the same number of strands as, four, as zero gauge wire. I just need to find myself some decent 4 gauge because that is shockingly bad. I might use this for my door speaker amplifier. I've got a JBL 74.4 something. Um, it's a grand, grand touring amplifier I'm going to use for my door speakers. But my plan of action for today is to sort that box out because that is fucking ridiculous. I'm going to go back home now, now that I've seen the extent of it flexing. I'm going to sort out um, some bracing for it. I'm going to sort out the, um, the screws, put loads of screws down it. And then um, we're going to get that box tight so that it's not fucking moving moving anywhere. Oh, and that's my gear now, by the way. Check it out. It says Sam on it, engraved.
<laughs> this is nice gear knob, yeah? The old gear knob was like a little round thing, you had to hold it like that. I hate them, I hate them gear knobs. It's like, uh, I love a gear knob, like, it's like a shaft that you can hold like that, you can change gear like that. Probably shifting fast. I hate them round gear knobs. You're like, uh, fucking, uh, I just want to hold it like that, like a fucking, like your lady grabs it in, you know, in, in the morning when you're feeling on a Sunday morning. Your lady grabs it like that. And she'll hold it tight. You want to fucking change gear like she's shifting that at all. Oh, fucking. Now that's embracing. Got a cross sectional going there. Now you're probably thinking, why the hell have I got this top one? Now the reason I got this top one was because so the top piece can screw down onto it, so the top piece isn't going to be flexing at all like that. I could have done like another couple of, couple of pillars there, but I didn't want to risk, um, you know, not having enough space between the subs. So um, I've just done the top piece there. The top piece is going to screw down on. I've done extra holes. I've also done extra screws in these edge bits because obviously I've taken the top off once now, so I need to do extra screws on the top just to secure it down and I'm going to give up on the um, the whole removable top um, idea because to be fair these two subs are the best subs that are going to go in there and also I can get some better twirls in the future if I wanted to so that box is going to get covered um, it should hit a lot deeper and a lot lower now I've done that just out of interest the top piece that was for the 18 is here as you can see there so the 18 was in there it didn't actually sound all that great to be honest the Pioneer sounded a lot better than the 18 did so I'm quite pleased and hopefully this is going to sound fucking epic but I'm not going to test it out, I'm going to just let it dry to tomorrow and then uh, <laughs> drive on the way to work blasting some bass. <laughs>